Hi, my name is Manju Bhatt. I'm going to be talking to you today about calcium, which is an important mineral and a divalent cation in the body. Calcium plays a major role in a variety of body functions including how our neurons communicate, how our muscles contract, and how our blood clots, among many other things. Calcium also plays a major role in a variety of cellular signaling processes. So it's very important that we maintain normal, healthy levels of calcium in the body, particularly in the blood. Normal blood calcium level is about 10 milligram per deciliter. That is called normal calcemia. If the calcium level goes below 10 milligram per deciliter, we call it hypocalcemia and it can result in muscle spasm and in extreme cases suffocation. If the calcium level goes about 10 milligram per deciliter, we call it hypercalcemia. In this case, our nervous system can get depressed. So we need to maintain normal calcium level. And we achieve this by combination of variety of organ systems like digestive system, urinary system, and skeletal system. So how do we achieve this? Normally we have a total of about 1100 milligram grams of calcium in the body, total calcium, 1100 grams, of which about 99% of it is stored in the bone. So less than 1% is distributed between the blood and the cell. Now, let's say we have hypocalcemia, how do we increase calcium? So we can think of this as compartments, the blood, the cell, the bone and what we consume. So we consume on average about 1000 milligram of calcium every day. We also lose about 350 milligram calcium through feces and about 650 milligram through urine. Now to maintain calcium we can either add calcium to the blood or we can remove calcium from the blood. Let's say we have hypocalcemia, we need to increase. One way is to increase absorption through the digestive system or we can reduce filtration of calcium from the kidneys by reabsorbing calcium and add calcium to the blood or we can dissolve the bone and transfer the dissolved calcium from the bone to the blood. Now let's say we have hypercalcemia. We need to now reduce calcium in the blood. One way is to take calcium from the blood and deposit in the bone. Or we can increase excretion of calcium from the blood through kidneys by increasing the filtration rate. So now as you can see a variety of organ systems and processes control to maintain calcium. It's also facilitated by a variety of hormones like calcitriol or vitamin D, calcitonin from the thyroid gland and parathyroid hormones from the parathyroid gland. So they work with the organ systems to make sure that normal calcium levels are maintained in the body, particularly in the blood.
Thank you.